Get ready to match the stars. Avery Shriver, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Barbara Rose, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 78. And now, here's the star of Match Game 78, Gene Raven! Hello, Johnny O. Hello, stars. Hi, hi, hi. How's everybody over in this end? Grand. What's your problem, Charles? No problem whatsoever. Good. Now, Except if he molests you in any way. <laughs> Except this one here. Okay. Yeah. He's been very busy with Betty over there. Oh. Aha. <laughs> huh. Betty and Charles. <laughs> No, uh, Richard. Richard. Uh, Richard. <laughs> Your name is Richard, are you? Yes. Oh. Yes, Richard is busier with me than Charles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you greet our two players, Jim Gawson and Clara Smith? Uh, Jim is our current champion. He's won a total of $600. That's very fancy Thank there. Thank you. You bought that already with the money that you no. think we're going to give you? Do you know how many polyesters they had to kill for this suit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna be like that, eh, Jim? <laughs> Take the money away from him. <laughs> we just met Clarice Smith uh, yesterday as we got off the air here, and she told us that uh, she designs and makes all of her own clothing. You do that outfit, yes. too? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's pretty fancy, Clarice. Thank you. Uh, where are you from again? Reno. Reno, I'm Nevada. Reno. Yes. Mm -hmm. Little known fact is that most people don't realize the fact that Reno, Nevada is west of Los Angeles. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> but anyway, we'll get this game going in about an hour or so, so you come back. All right, thank you. Here we go. Round one. And Clarice, you may have A or B. May I have B, please? You may have B, if that's what you want. Bill hit the highest note in the barbershop quartet. It happened right after he sat on the blank. <laughs> All right. First oh, time. I was about to say it's the first time the upper tier was ready ahead of the lower tier, and you change your mind, and now here we go. Now, we'll go to Clarice Smith and put it to her. Bill hit the highest note in the barbershop quartet. It happened right after he sat on the blank. After he sat on a tack. Oh. He sat on a tack. <laughs> okay, Clarice. Avery, she said after he sat on a tack. What do you say to that? I say it was after he sat on the razor. On the razor. <laughs> Razor. Mm. Okay. What do you say to that? They did a little moaning and groan. Oh, pardon. Yeah. I'm so terribly sorry. I never did that. Just a minute. I said tack because that's what yeah. I did. Oh. <laughs> One for Clarice. Tack is what she's after. I said razor. Razor. The razor then, wouldn't hurt. Yeah, well, you know, but this, Come since, here. since we said barbershop quartet, it, you know, the razor might be out there. What do you say? I was going to say razor. I had it, but I didn't. I was thinking more musically. Yes. On the pitch pipe. Oh, on the pitch pipe, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Richard. Dreaded scissors. Oh, oh the scissors. Yes, sirree. Now, Miss Betty, honey. Scissors. It cut him right off in his prime. <laughs> Okay. Now, Jim, you must admit, her line was better than killing 600 Much polyesters. Much better. <laughs> Beautiful. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Ugly Edna is so ugly... Ugly! Her crow's feet have blanks. <laughs> Barbara's key light out. What? Wait a minute now. Let me just see if it looks dark there. No, you're okay. Thank you. All right. 
Everybody ready? Move. <laughs> ready, Chuck? Yo, Gene, yo, Chuck. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I love him when he's <laughs> Ugly Edna is so ugly, her crow's feet have blanks. You know what crow's feet are, crow's Jim? Crow's feet, the little things in the face, little Yeah, little features. wrinkles right here look like crow's feet. Ugly Edna is so ugly, her crow's feet have blanks. Toes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What would you say? Okay. What? Yes, I hear him. What do you say? I said her crow's feet had bunions. <laughs> bunions? One possibility. Oh, no. Another possibility? No, no, I room with uh, Miss White, and I took a good look at her today, and her crow's feet had wings. Wings? You <laughs> cut to her. She's only kidding. <laughs> what do you say, Chuck? Chuck, hi, Gene. Hi, it's baby. Chuck. Right. Chuck says corn's a good rugged word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jim is looking for toes, Barbara. He loves toes. Does he? Yes. <laughs> wings. Wings. Yes. No, it's Charles who loves wings. Oh. He loves toes. What do you like, Richard? Well, our crow's feet had crow's feet. <laughs> crow's feet had crow's feet. Good. I think that's what they were saying there when I asked oh. them, Jim, what would the audience say? They said crow's feet. What do you say? That seemed like the definitive answer because I, too, if she dresses with me, I dress with Brett Summers. They yeah. Have crow's, crow's feet have crow's feet. feet. So there we are at the end of round one. Scores one and nothing in favor of Clarice. Round two coming up after this. Pay attention. <laughs> what is that? Tiffany Mann. A Tiffany <laughs> Mann. Oh. Every ten years I go. Beautiful. <laughs> Terrific. I don't know. I'm surrounded by weirdos. Now listen, let's go to round two here, shall we? One to nothing to score at the end of round one. Clarice, again, you have a choice of A or B. I'll take B again, please. B again. There's one person that did not play, that's you, Brett. That's because I'm smart. Right. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Sally the stripper said, Sally the stripper said, I'm tired of going out with that guitar player. Today he tried to tune my blank. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is it? What is it? The stripper. Sally the stripper said, I'm tired of going out with that guitar player Not today. Sally the stripper. Sally ran the greatest stripper, my uh, personal uh, friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, He's looking for an answer because I'm not playing, so he can't come on, get Chuck, one. Let's go. Let's go, Chuck. Okay, Clarice. Sally the stripper said, I'm tired of going out with that guitar player. Today he tried to tune my blank. I think he tried to tune her G-string. Yeah. He did. <laughs> you sound as if you know what you're applauding about. <laughs> I've never seen one myself, but I've heard about them. <laughs> yes. So maybe he tried to tune her balloons, not her G-string. Her G-string. <laughs> All right, please, that's one for you. Let's see if you get one from Charles. Now it's Charles. What happened to Chuck? Oh, Chuck, I beg your pardon, Chuck. G-string. G-string, okay. <laughs> now you're up to three, Clarice. Let's see what goes on down here. <laughs> Barbara, darling. G-string. There it is. Four for her. Little G-string is what she's looking for. Bong, 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 bong. That's it. Perfect. Perfect pitch you have, Richard. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Show us your G-string. More, no. Really? You poor, inhibited child. Why are they hollering, put it on, put it on? <laughs> They're not doing that. No. Okay, now here we go with you. Jim, you ready? Yes, sir. You know what you have to do? You've got to match all six to stay in the game and achieve a tie. It's the only chance you have, Evan. Mary said, 
I have the world's dumbest dog. He's so dumb, when I taught him to sit, he forgot how to blink. When I taught him to sit. Dog is so dumb, when I taught him to sit, he forgot how to blink. <laughs> I'm not too crazy about that question. I'm not too crazy about it either, but it's a good one. Sit. I taught him and said he forgot how to. Oh. Cute. Right. <laughs> Jim Goss, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Did you put it in the uh, slot there, Charles. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Mary said, I have the world's dumbest dog. He's so dumb, when I taught him to sit, he forgot how to blank. Forgot how to get up. Forgot how to get up. All right, I got to match everybody to stay in the game. Let's see what happens. Avery, he said he forgot how to get up. Might be a match. Forgot how to stand. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So the score is now six to one. Art, Sandy, stand. Stand. Forgot how to get up. Yes. El stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Jim, the score is now six to three. If you get a match with all of these people on the bottom tier, you'll get your tie. What do you say? I'm not going to be the one. You're not? Stand up again. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that you're not going to be the one. <laughs> she may change I'm her mind. I'm too sorry to hear that she's not the one. That that's two of us. Very sorry. <laughs> so I will now sing two choruses of Stand By Your Dog. Stand By Your Dog. Find the score. Mm -hmm. I hate to put you in this position. Yeah. But if uh, he matches you, it's a tie. If and he doesn't, she wins. And I just don't go out to the parking lot. So you take your Get clothes up. off. Get up. <laughs> there. Nice okay. Game ends in a tie. We'll uh, see if we can untie the tie right after we do this for you. Oh, here we are. Okay, let's go. Now, we'll turn off all of these lights here and eradicate the score. Push the button, reveal one tie-breaking question for each. The one who's matched the most celebrities will be the winner. Clarice, again, A or B? B, please. Okay, that's the third time in a row. You've had B. Let's see what happens this time. 50,000 bullfight fans laughed their heads off when Marty the Matador blanked his pants. <laughs> Marty the Matador blanked his pants. They laughed and laughed and laughed. There it is, Chuck, baby. Why do I show him my ass? Why do you okay. show him anything? Don't look, Sheila, he says to me. My name isn't even Sheila. That's right. <laughs> I'm Sheila. <laughs> okay, Clarice. 50,000 bullfight fans laughed their heads off when Marty the Matador blanked his pants. The only thing I can think of is wet. Wet his pants. <laughs> now listen, that's oh. not bad. If that bull was coming after you and all you... <laughs> yeah, and all you had was that cape to defend yourself? Why, sure you would. Hello there, Avery. Oh. You ready? Oh, am I ready? <laughs> there it is. He wet his pants. He pan. wet his pants. You see? There's one for Clarice. That's a terrific answer. I'm sorry. I said dropped. Oh. Oh, I see. They laughed. And they laughed for obvious reasons. Yes. All right. Chuck, what do you say, buddy? That good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Remove it. Uh, okay. She's looking for wet pants there. That's the answer she wants. I got it. You got it. And you got one for Clarice. All right. Show us your pants, Richard. I can't. They're split. <laughs> split. Split his pants. Oh, and they laughed. Isn't that terrible, Betty? No split. Split it in. <laughs> so, Clarice, you picked up two. Now, Jim, that means two. We'll get another tie for you, and three will win your second game. Henry said, I'll never go to El Chipo rent a car again. Cars they rent don't have motors. Instead, they have blanks. <laughs> never go to El Chipo rent a car again. The cars they have don't have motors. Instead, they have blanks. 
<laughs> there you are, sir. Take that to the IRS. Now, when I ask to see your answer, I want you to show it to me. I'd like to make an announcement to all the cars, the rental cars companies in the country. Yes, seriously. Right. Put snow tires on in the winter. I know it's a policy not to. I'll bring this all out in my book called <laughs> Snow Tires <laughs> and You. <laughs> in the meantime, we appreciate you writing an answer. I'm writing it now, man. I'll okay. start pressuring you. Uh, okay, Chuck. Uh, I wouldn't fiddle with you, Chuck. In Hawaii and Florida? Yes. That's the only place they do put the snow tires. I see. <laughs> Did you know that? All right, here we go. Henry said, I'll never go to El Cheapo rent a car again. The cars they rent don't have motors. Instead, they have blanks. Squirrels. Squirrels? Squirrels? Squirrels. What does that mean, Jim? The oh, squirrels that go around in the oh, and those little, revolutionary uh, position. Those little uh, yes. wire cages yes. and they keep the thing going around. Oh. Yeah. That's very inventive, you. The most creative losing answer we'll probably ever have on this show. Squirrel power. Yes. It's squirrel power. Yes. All squirrel power. Yes. Squirrels. May the squirrels be with you. Yes. Well, I didn't get. I didn't even get. Well, I got in the right. Well, it's almost. Well, it's mules. Mules yeah. under the hood. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What do you say? I said true. I would never. Have, I, I didn't even get into animals. I said elastic band. Elastic band. They wind them up and they, they okay. gear them up that way. I'll show your answer, huh? <laughs> Oh, sure. It's not elastic bands. You said elastic because of the kind of stockings and undergarments you wear. I said rubber bands. Rubber bands, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, dear. Barbara, he said squirrels. A rather ingenious answer. What have you got there to get that car going? <laughs> Well, I guess it's not ingenious because I said rubber bands. Rubber bands? Well, that's one way to do it. Yeah, now you must think. match the two remaining ones, Jim, to stay in the game and achieve a tie. Richard? Rubber bands. Oh, rubber bands, all right. I mean, the wins the game, and everybody has rubber bands there, Jim. Stand right there in that little blue dot. I'll get to you in a moment after I say goodbye to Jim here. He's leaving with $600 and our best <laughs> thank wishes. You. Jim Gossam, thank you very much. Come on. Well, here you are. You ready? Right. She says, I can't believe it. But well, you are here now. You pay attention. See what's happening. We polled a studio audience not too long ago, Clarice, and we said, you write down your best answer to this. Blank touch. Now, if you match the answer they gave us most often, you get $500. For matching their second most popular answer, you get $250. And for matching the third most popular, you get $100. And three of our six celebrities will help you. Richard? What I am, darling, a soft touch. Yeah. Soft touch, yeah, right. Charles? When you go into a store and they have a beautiful silver thing, you go, and they go, don't, do not touch. Do not touch. No. That's Brit. junk, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Brett, wasn't that, I, that lead up was just shocking. <laughs> just shocking. No, what you have, darling, a light touch. Light touch. Oh, so you got light touch, do not touch, and soft touch. Those are the three. Now, at this time, Clarice, you have an option. Uh -huh. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own. I think I'll go with Richard's soft touch. Soft touch. All right, that's what we want. Gonna find out if it's up there right now. We'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Magic touch is you up there. You have that, too. I don't know why I didn't think yes, of it. Yes, you should have, my dear. Okay, we want <laughs> the soft touch. May we see the $250 response? Don't oh, touch, is Charles' answer. Yo. Last chance for soft touch. Slide it. Yeah, you got it. Congratulations to you. Now you got a total of $600, Clarice. And you're going to play for 10 times that amount, or $5,000. We'll give you the money if you'll match one celebrity exactly. I'll go along with Richard. Okay, you're going to go along with Richard. Good luck to you, Clarice. It's worth $5,000. Here it is. Blank badge. B-A-D-G-E. Blank badge. Now, Clarice, give us the answer that he's written on the card. We give you $5,000. Blank badge. Police. Police badge, she says, will match you for $5,000. Richard, let's find out what you've got there. Well, it was that or the sheriff. Yes. So I said police. Police badge! Congratulations! Police badge! Okay. Who's that out there? Look at my children! Those are your children. Well, they're very happy for you, and we are 
Number two, Clarice, you got $5,600. Now we got this message for you. Hey, we're all splendid, and then we'll have more fun here tomorrow on Match Game 78. I'm Gene Rayburn, hoping you'll join us then. Goodbye. In a time of uncertainty, laughter, money, and dreams have all but vanished. But there's one place where all our dreams do come true. National Lampoon's Funny Money. Weekends at 11 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Because the children depend on us.